swallowed up by the trees. You're the one who wanted to swing. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could down. be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh... Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at crime. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple of out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Oh, I'm the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some, uh... I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm... The mine place. My version of the mine... The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You crack cases that have the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. place to get murdered. Hmm. Getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. And the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, the FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob.
is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. OK. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the... Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. him in his current state. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with a quick...